I'm going to be also transparent right now. I'm jealous that women could say, I want a soft life, and you guys can find someone that's willing to give it to you. At no point in my life can I say, I want a soft life, and expect someone to give it to me. It, it just would never happen. There is no point in my life I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm going to sit up here, I'm going to get a girl pregnant, and then she going to take care of me. Because it don't work out like that, because I'm a man. So I want, I really want some of you to think about that, especially if you have someone that is providing and or assisting you in a soft life and appreciate them because they really do love you and they really do work two times, three times harder than they would if they were by themselves all because they care for you and the family that you guys have created. But I am jealous of women for that fact because let me tell you, you know how women are like, oh, I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of that. Guess what, sweetheart? So are we. But us men, we got to figure it out and keep grinding because we're men, right? But y'all have it lucky. And I'm like I said, I am jealous that y'all can sit up there and be like, you know what? He can figure it out. Now, I don't know about y'all, but the soft life, listen, everybody wants to have a soft life. I don't know of too many people who want to get up every day and work hard, break their back to earn their living. There are some, but most people, if they have a choice, that's not what they would do. Agreed? When I seen this video of the gentleman talking about he's semi-jealous that women can find men to give them the soft life and he knows as a man that'll never happen, I believe that there are ways that women can provide their men with soft lives. And let's talk about it. Now, first of all, let me make something crystal clear. There will never be a time where any man will be able to lay up on my good couch where I go to work every day and make all the money and pay all the bills and then come home and wait on him hand and foot when there's nothing wrong with him. I will never be okay with any grown man who does not work to provide for himself getting the soft life. But I also don't agree and believe in any woman that has not earned the soft life. You have to give somebody something in order for them to give you something in return, right? Otherwise, it's a manipulative and a predatory relationship. Your relationship shouldn't be one-sided. Fair? Agreed? Agreed. But if I am in a relationship with a man who is loving me, cherishing me, respecting me, protecting me, providing for me, supporting me, making me feel like a woman. I am happy to give him some softening in his life. That's a term we gonna use. Because for me, the Bible say a man who don't work don't eat. You know what I mean? So I feel like you gotta go to work, baby. But there are some things that I can do to soften your life, to show you my appreciation and my gratitude. Number one, I'm going to make our house a home. I'm going to give you a place of peace to land when you finish fighting the world for me. Think about it. These men get up every day. Some of them work back-breaking, hard labor jobs that we would never have to work or want to work. These men are out of the homes 10, 12 hours a day to provide for their families. And you can't make a comfortable home for him to come home to? Don't bother that man the moment he walk in the door. As soon as he open the door, you nagging, you rolling next. We need to talk about this. No. Give him a minute to decompress. Why not open the door and give him a kiss on the cheek and take his lunchbox out of his hand? Why not allow that man to sit down, take his boots off? Your grandmama used to take your granddaddy boots off. Why you can't take that man boots off? Give him a moment to take his boots off. Take a deep breath. Decompress. Allow that man to go take a shower. Now, if you really want to turn it up a notch, why your man is in the shower because he been doing back-breaking work all day, lay his favorite basketball shorts out, his favorite t-shirt out, and some underwear, and let that man know, I was thinking about you. That's how you soften his life. It's little things. They don't really require much, ladies. Now, when that man come out the shower, why y'all can't have dinner cooked? Well, I was at work too today, Ash. True, fair, you're right, you're right. But somebody got to cook. And we are talking about specifically men who provide women with soft lives, wanting a soft life themselves. So if this man is taking all or a majority of the financial responsibility off of you, you can't find time to cook. 
To me, that sounds a little selfish. I'm just saying. This man is making sure a majority of the bills, if not all the bills, are paid. And you can't find time to cook? Your grandmama used to say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And you can't find time to cook? Okay, I'm just trying to give y'all tips on how to soften these men's lives. And men, hear me clearly. I am talking about the grown men who are handling their business, that are making sure that their families are provided for and doing well. I am not talking about the men that are out there with their hands out. We don't have nothing for you. A man who don't work don't eat. That's in the word. That's in the Bible, okay? So let's keep going. Now... Not only is it easy to cook a meal, not only is it easy to create an environment of peace, it's also easy to have a smile on your face. It's also easy to give them something cute to look at. It don't take but two seconds to fluff that wash and go out of your bonnet. It don't take but two seconds to put on some smell good. Now Ash, why am I doing that? I ain't going nowhere because you're giving that man something to look at. You're giving him something to enjoy on you. You got to give him his money's worth. I said what I said. Remember, this man is out here breaking his back to provide you with the soft life. And you can't give him nothing soft to come and land on. He can't have something visually pleasing. I know y'all may feel like, well, this is old school and this is antiquated information. And he should just take me as I am. Oh, baby, no. Because you ain't taking him as he is. Men often feel like they are only valued at what they can provide. So if you are requiring for this man to get out here and get you some money for you to be with him, I ain't mad at that, but I am asking that you understand that he is requiring you to be nice to him so he can give you the monies. You to give him something to look at. He's made it available for you to have time to take care of yourself and you still don't want to take care of yourself? And I ain't even talking about being in the gym 24-7 and being fit, feminine, and friendly. I ain't just talking about that. What's wrong with putting on some decent clothes? What's wrong with smelling good? What's wrong with fluffing your hair up so you look like something? What's wrong with that? Nothing at all. And I'm telling you, men value women who value themselves. And what it looks like is if you love yourself enough to take care of yourself, then this is a woman that I should love enough to take care of as well. Now that's game. So if he comes in from work and you're looking good, you're smelling good, the house is clean, dinner is cooked. I've been waiting for you. I'm so glad you're home. What is wrong with that? As a man, gentlemen, y'all sound off in the comments. Would that not make you feel like you live in a little soft life? You ordering everything else from Amazon, ladies. Let me put you up a little bit more. The same way we like soft stuff on our skin, you know, your favorite robe. Why not order that man a nice plush robe? Order him some house shoes. He been on his feet all day. Have his house shoes laid out in the shower. Y'all get where I'm going? Think about the things that you enjoy as a woman that make you feel cared for. Lighten the candle so the aromatherapy can help you relax. Do that for your man. It shows him gratitude. It shows him appreciation. It shows that you see him. I see your hard work. And it gives him a soft place to land, right? Now, if I'm too far off, y'all tell me in the comments. But I think I'm on to something, okay? Now, a couple of other things, in my opinion, that women can do to help offer a soft, softer, soften life. Because listen, men, y'all are just not meant to be soft like women. It is what it is. It's okay. It's by design. But by us showing you that we are here for you, listening, taking their opinions into consideration, asking them for their opinion. Asking them, well, baby, what do you think we should do? I I agree. Supporting his decisions, as long as they make sense. Men, if they don't make sense, we are not supporting it. We're not going to let you lead us down the path of destruction. But making them understand that we hear you, we see you, we care about how you feel, right? That, to me, softens the thought that these men have to go at it alone. A lot of men feel unsupported. They feel unseen. They feel like as long as I'm paying the bills, they don't care. Well, go ask that man how he feels. Go ask him what he thinks. 
and then actually listen. And bonus points, if you can implement what he told you he needs. We overcomplicate things. You want a soft life by not having to worry about the money and not having to worry about the bills. He wants a soft life by having the little things that make life enjoyable after he has given you the soft life. It's called reciprocity, people. We overcomplicate things. I do believe that men deserve a soft in life because y'all ain't going to get the soft life. But I believe that women deserve the soft life too. Everybody should be taking care of one another. If I am your woman and you are my man and we're loving on each other, the fact that I'm loving on you and taking care of you is going to always give you the soft life. The reason why this is even a discussion in my book is because a lot of people are not taking the time to love each other properly. And so before you know it, you got one person doing all the work, the other person taking, and that person feels abused while this person is looking confused, not understanding what you're mad for. I know why they mad, because they don't feel like they're getting anything out of the situation, okay? So take time, talk to your honey, spoil your honey. Ladies, I'm talking to you. Spoil your honey. Make sure that he is seen and heard and appreciated. Teach them ungrateful kids to just to go up and, and hug daddy and tell them thank you. Teach your kids to be grateful. And let's offer these men a soft life. Soft in life. Softened life. There you go. That's the term. <laughs>